In this video, I'm gonna be going over one of my favorite winter scents, and this is gonna be Guerlain's Lum Ideal EDP. Stay tuned. What's up guys, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a little more in-depth review of one of my favorite fragrances for the winter, and this is gonna be Guerlain's Lum Ideal EDP. So we're gonna be talking about the notes, the longevity, the projection, those types of things. Instead of like a quick review, again, a little more in depth. So let's go and get into it. So let's go and look over at the notes. I'm gonna actually have the break in the notes right over here, pop up, and let's go and give the spray. Real quick. Like so on top you're gonna get almond, spices, lavender, bergamot, rosemary, thyme. In the mid you're gonna get cherry, vanilla, incense, Bulgarian rose. And in the base, you're gonna get leather, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So, so the main players that I get in this fragrance are gonna be cherry, vanilla, sandalwood, and leather. But the good thing about the leather is if, well, if you're not big on leather scents, is that it's not gonna be heavy on the leather with this one. It just kinda adds this little more depth, sharpness to the fragrance. But yeah, again, that cherry sticks out amazingly oh man so you kind of got this weird kind of like cherry coke vibe going on here this beautiful sandalwood kind of giving this roundness so i'm not really sure if i pick out any of those aromatics like the the thyme the rosemary and the lavender it's kind of i mean i guess you do get a little uh a little bit of this aromatic feel to it when you first spray it on but it doesn't like pop out there it's kind of really well for me I had to kind of really go digging in there to try to find it and then I actually have a dry down so this is one that I just freshly sprayed that I just freshly sprayed and this is the dry down of it that I sprayed probably like mm, I see about 30 minutes ago so it doesn't really kind of morph into anything different. It's, I guess I would say it's, to me, it's pretty linear. What we spray it on is what you're gonna get throughout the entire, the entire difference. Well, actually, no, I lied. Because later on, well, in like the far, far ends of this fragrance's life, you do get like this, this sort of powderiness, this like kind of like, like fluffiness to the fragrance when it starts to develop into the skin scent. But the dry down here, like what I got from about 30 minutes ago, and this is the freshly sprayed uh, tester strip, they're, they're pretty much the same. This one just leans a little more, a um, little, little softer, um, a little more powdery, but it's not like a super duper like heavy powder like you get like, you know, in, in like a Dior Homme or, or, or Prada Loma, anything like that. Ah, oh, man. So yeah, so, so for the scent profile, again, it's cherry coke with some vanilla and woods. That's what I get, and I love it so much. But not that basic. Just think of a super duper elevated cherry coke. <laughs> That's what I would say. But gosh, this is probably one of my favorite fragrances. Not just in, in the low medial line, but probably through, probably with all my fragrances, this stuff is, it's a compliment getter. It is kind of unique because I never smelled anything like it. This is something you have to kind of put your nose on. And people, you know, again, they, they will really enjoy it. So yeah, that's the scent profile right there. It's gonna be cherry, vanilla, sandalwood, leather in there. Um, a little bit of aromatics coming from the thyme, the rosemary, the lavender. You don't really pick up on that too much. You will you will actually pick up on it if you really start digging your nose into it. But just from like walking past someone or if he's kind of a quick little smell, then I don't think you really pick up, pick up on it as much. And I did spray it on the hand too, so. So on my skin, it does come off a little more powdery than the tester strip. 
in that I feel like the vanilla is a little more amped up on my skin than it is on the tester strip. Again, Air One skin camera is going to be a little bit different, so it's going to be different from me compared to you or someone else. But on my skin, I get the powderiness. Not too, again, not too heavy powderiness, but I do get the powderiness in here. And the vanilla, the vanilla, like I said, the vanilla is a little more amped up in here as well. So the cherry is still right there, but then the vanilla kind of just uh, took a little, you know, step ahead for me. And then you get that leather kind of cutting through a little bit, but it's nothing going to be like super duper leathery, you know, anything like that. Yeah. Again, amazingness, awesomeness. I love it. So now for the projection. Projection, I say it's gonna be, yeah, about arm's length, maybe a little more actually, because when I have it on my hand, well, I got some actually pretty long arms. <laughs> but um, I can still smell it when I'm walking around. I can smell it from, from my hand when it's down here, all the way up right here. So I would say probably like, you know, arms and half length away. That's the type of projection that I get from it. Longevity, longevity is really good actually. Longevity, I get it any from eight to 10 hours. It starts taking, well, it will start to become a skin scent around that, let's see, around that nine hour mark. Well, from on my skin, when I, when I wore it, it actually lasted about, yeah, about 10 hours. So around, yeah, the eight to nine hour mark, that's when it, come, it becomes a skin set that's really nice and soft, kind of like this, this fluffiness I would get. And then I feel like the cherry it really did take um, a seat in the back and then the vanilla and the sandalwood kind of pushed on front. So yeah, longevity, great, it's good. Again, eight to 10 hours, maybe more. You know, depending on, if you spray it on your clothes, it's gonna last all day till the next day and then till more. So now, who would I recommend this scent to? Or would I actually, or would I even recommend this scent at all? Yes, definitely. I will definitely recommend this scent if you want to get some that's a little bit different from your usual like mass peeling scents. I'm not saying this is not a mass peeling scent. This is a, you'll definitely get comments from it. But it's just kind of, it's, it's more catered to the people who want something a little different than the stuff that you get probably from like JCPenney's or Macy's or whatever, those types of stores. It definitely needs a little more masculine, but anyone can pull it off. And you, you, you can, whoever you are, you can pull off anything you want. But to me, it does lean a little masculine. And then this bottle is just freaking awesome. I love this bottle here. I believe like the first generation bottle it was this brown cap, but then around the edges, it will have like that, the same coloration that the cap did around all the edges. And then this one came out, this what it's just based removed that brown edging. And then now is just the, just a clear bottle with that brown cap. And then now they have their newest look, which is, I believe it's a, it's still the same color juice, juice, juice but the cap is black, I believe. And then the writing on it is a little different as well. So I got like the middle look. You have the old look, then this look, and then the new look. But I believe it's, it's all the same. So there you have it guys, that is my take. <coughs> Excuse me. That is my take on Gearline's Lum ADL EDP. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. But again, like I always say, do me a huge favor and click that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave me a comment if you smell the Loma Deal um, EDP. And what are your thoughts on it? If you like it, if you don't like it, if there's some that you prefer over that. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.